Hey, Phillips. Oh, I remember you. I saw you on the internet a bunch of times. Well, there's several of us. I'm Margie Phelps. Oh, okay. Are you the wife then or the daughter? I'm, the, I'm one of the daughters of Pastor Phelps. Oh, okay. Now, what's all this going on here? Of course, as, as I'm sure you're aware, there's a lot of activists. Well, yes, and that's what you do to God every day. You rebel Jews. Rebel Jews, and you head straight to hell. You get to fight and be the chosen Oh, um, no problem, but... So we're here telling these Jews that the fullness of the Gentiles is coming apace. Well, what about the fact that Jesus the final, was a... and they killed him. The what? prophets were Jews, dumbass. Oh, dear. And they killed him. Christ came in the form of the seed of Abraham. He was one of their brothers, and they killed him. And then they killed the apostles, and now they're killing their Palestinian... Ishmaelite half-brothers. Jews are the biggest anti-Semites in the world, so get off that simplicity about Jesus was a Jew. He sure was, and he came to minister. Well, isn't that Shut contradictory up to listen. what you... Okay. Shut up and listen. All right, I'm listening. I'm a good interviewer. to minister to the lost sheep of Israel. Say, a bruised reed will I not break, and a smoking flax will I not quench. He gave them another chance. And they maliciously, viciously, with great envy and malice and a forethought, mm -hmm. killed him. Now, I'm done with you. I'm done. <laughs> Excuse me, sir. I've seen a number of interesting signs, but um, you will eat your babies. W what does that mean? What does that mean? It means that it's one of the curses of God that is put upon a nation. That is, has been put upon a nation that goes goes abhorring after strange gods and after the after lust of their own hearts. And of course, if we're to list true to the standard of what the Bible says, if we're to list true to the each standard. And this is one of the curses of God that's going to be put upon this nation and is currently being put upon this nation in the form of this nation teaching their children that it's okay to be gay and God loves everyone, which is bold-faced lies against the Bible and what's going to be taking their children to hell. They're devouring their children by by teaching these lies that are, that, that are going to take them to hell. So does it mean they're literally going to eat their babies or is it they, a metaphorical? They, they will be when they're put into such siege-like uh, situations promised by God. They're going to be turning on their children as, as a source of nutrition and, and sustenance. So, yep. All right, thank you. Yep. We're at Arlington National Cemetery, and on one side are the pro-army people that have all come just to disagree with Phelps and the Westboro Baptist Church, which is on the other side. And I'm going to talk to them uh, right now and ask them uh, what they think. Your doom is imminent, so I think you asked me why I say that, that's why I say that. And at every, at every level, in every branch, in every institution, including education, <laughs> including entertainment, including in the government, all our lawmakers, all our policymakers, they, and in the schools. I'm the only, we are the only patriots in this nation. So that's we question. are concerned well, about the demise of this nation. I was just wondering, if God hates some people, why is it that you say that God hates all of America? Well, this is a country. I'm right. saying that the yeah, country. I'm it. saying that the nation is doomed. Oh, okay. That's what I'm saying. Uh, the and nation. I'm saying that in general, uh, the vast majority of the people in this country are hated by God, because of course the nation is made up by people. But Judah, where the prophet said, "Look, God's through with you. He hates you now. He doesn't love you anymore. He hates you." And of course, those prophets were part of that nation, but in infinitesimal parts. Six of the Antichrist as described in the Bible. And furthermore, look at the time that we live in. It, it's the time of Sodom and the time of just before the flood, which is when Christ said he would return. You said that God... You either resist the devil and he flees, or you wallow in your sin. And that's what you've been doing, and that's why you're standing this here trembling in rage. This man's got the blood. Yes. Then get over there and read Romans 1, brute. You said that in read Romans... Read it! Read it out loud! 
Now, read Romans 1. You brought it up, coward. You don't want to read it because you know it'll condemn you. You know it'll condemn you. You said that um, Romans in Romans 1, God's, God gave them up to homosexuals. Doesn't mean that that's kind of like, I mean, what does it that mean? It says, because they knew God, but glorified Him not as God, but became vain in their imaginations and worshipped the creature instead of the Creator. Wherefore, He gave them up to three things, and it's right there, and you've got your ability to read these words. He gave them up first to a vile affection, that lust, that burning lust of these militant, impenitent fags. God gave it to them. So he shut up. I'm not done. Okay. He gave him up. One, to a vile affection. Two, to a filthy manner of life. They eat each other's feces and call it scat. And that's how they derive sexual pleasure, you dummy. Well, don't. And I'm not done. Shut up. Can't well, you count to three? Do, do you want to preach and the gospel three. or do you want to call me names three. all day? Three. Okay. He gave them up to a reprobate mind. Do you know what the word reprobate means? Um, no. Not it means enough. you're doomed. Oh. Reprobate is the opposite of elect. So reprobate means you're going to hell. I am. Well, I'm telling you what the word means, dummy. You can't track with your own train of thought. Well, what what should I do then? From the halls of Monte Zoo. Okay. Hey, miss, little titmouse. Doesn't want to tell me. 